Um, today we're gonna be doing kind of like a science fiction kind of, you know, thing. And so this is about like a um, hypothetical robot invasion. So let's get started. How would the world be when robots control it? The world would still be inhabited by humans, but in extremely low quantities. They reside throughout the deserts, which would be vast grasslands spanning the globe as robots would have taken resources and chopped down nearly all trees to fuel their hostile takeover. Imagine the year is 2120, and you've been living in fear of what could happen since the 2000s. But now, all but a scattered million humans vanish, and you pick up signals from communication devices that the robots are banding together to destroy every last human. Wars rage on around you as the robots fight, very similar to humanity's past. But their weapons cause mass destruction, and the islands of Greenland and Madagascar, as well as the whole of South America, have sunk below the rising waves. Global warming increased exponentially, and scientists believe that the planet will begin to burn with all the grasses or gases in only two decades. Wondering how your life was reduced to this, your teenage years brought down to almost nothing. You begin to take a stand. Suddenly, without warning, a massive explosion sounds in the distance, and you notice billions of animals fly through the forest, soaring over them or through the trees, and you hear deafening rumble echo towards you. Before, without warning, a stampede quickly approaches you, forcing you to scout the landscape in search of a feasible escape route. Before you're able to act, however, the animals surround you, and you get one glimpse into their eyes before you rest your life nearly trampled. Their eyeballs are all pure, red, evil. Only moments later, they deposit you in a barren landscape, desolate as they sprint into the trees and leave you in the sod dirt. Glancing all around, Terry, you realize that the sky's hue has become darker, and you watch in astonishment as it vanishes, just like billions of humans had. Dreading the next moments, you attempt to stand up, but you realize you're trapped, as if in a um, claustrophobic tunnel. On the ground, there are. there is only one way out of this dilemma. At last, you wrench your incapitated hands from the dirt, and you do so several seconds before the inevitable. Robots sh surround you on all sides, and you realize that they're the very same ones from the stampede. But these are in their true form, ready to attack. And you stumble over a rocky outcropping, falling onto hard stone and gasping in terror. The robots, unmerciful as they are, clench you in their vice-like grip before taking you far away from Earth, never to be seen again. So, how was it that such a dystopian world emerged in the future. You see, humans have created somewhat of a new age in Earth's history, known as an Anthropocene. And this epoch be began thousands of years ago in the drawing of technology, as fire was discovered and created unnaturally, unnaturally paving the path for their new inventors. Throughout the Industrial Revolution, all the way to the 21st century with digital and online resources, making everyday life much easier. Robots are put to use in the 2010s and the 2020s, but their capabilities are far from discovery. Several decades pass with discoveries all across space in the solar system to self-driving cars spread across the globe. Robots are everyday objects and they're all around public and private locations. As the 2070s approach, there are multiple theories of how quickly robots will develop, yet they're suppressed for fear of uprising the public. Several more decades pass and the 2100s emerge. With evolution of robots, they create their own civilizations and be begin to truly become their own species as businesses develop. In the late 2010s, as the human population begins to quickly decline from billions of people, robots finally begin their own space travel, and scientists show the world the true facts, as they've known but have been able to, unable to speak about robots and their quick evolving, but civilians 
realize that they are severely outnumbered. Yet they rejoice as thousands of robots travel to the moon and they continue to Mars only days later. As they reach the red planet less than one year later, statements about control over Earth are made. No peace agreements are created and humans watch in misery as their own people are beginning to disappear. By the year 2119, a total of half a million people have disappeared, dispersed throughout the globe, and leaders finally resolve to meet with the robots. But they refuse any peace or potential pacts, and the year disappears with no more disappearances, creating false hope in the minds of human leaders because on the final fateful day, dawn begins with a calm expect for streaks of darkness running through the atmosphere. The final day is December 31st, 2119, and the darkness is quickly increasing, spreading across the sky and avoiding no locations whatsoever. Several leaders whip out their cell phones immediately, but there is no way to contact others. As they attempt unsuccessfully to switch on their lights, suddenly billions upon billions of humans feel the air grow darker before they hear several deafening noises. The few that escaped reckoned a sequence that began with a pop, followed by three crashes, and no one singular roar that echoed for hours on end. That day, billions of people vanished into thin air, and the survivors were were few and far between. But there were still several million. Without warning, everyone you've ever known vanishes as well, and the robots leave a few final thousand, almost as if this was their final destruction against their creators. When you disappear into those clouds, Earth vanishes from sight, but you realize they are still alive, and the darkness suddenly dissipates, leaving you in the shining sunlight of Earth. You travel all over the globe, coming across the solutions that you're all alone, but you're alive at the end of the robot invasion, which occurred due to humans, and the robots have continued throughout space to control other species. Wow, that was fun, different type of thing. And yeah, 